Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to No Hope Humanity. Uh, so today's episode is going to be about friendship, BLM, and relationships. Um, Olivia, you going to introduce yourself? <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, uh, I'm so glad that you're here. I don't think I've drink drinking drink drank anything all day other than coffee. Sorry, it's a side effect of autism. I was gonna correct you. Yeah. Chips. <laughs> Ooh. Man, she don't want to respond. So. <laughs> So I guess we'll, we'll let Liv eat first, then we'll come back to relationships. Oh. We're responsible adults. Mm. Don't, don't, don't spray it, just say it. Okay? So, our topic is relationships. Yeah, I, I think I think all of us on the server right now, currently, are single. I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah. <gasps> oh, disgusting. I think I've experienced that before. Like, I'm not not like self love. Never experienced that. But uh, like, oh, what are you talking about? Like, I've had a friend do that to me before. Not often, but I have had some friends come up to me and do that. Like they'll tell me, "Hey, you need to focus on yourself," or, or like my mom will say that or something. But like, yeah.
Yeah. So, uh, relationships are hard. Oh, uh, no, continue what you're saying, yeah. Well, I mean, man, I don't have much experiences in this field. And I, it's like, yeah, so, like, I have had a crush with some people, but I don't have, like, a crush on, like, every single person I meet. Like, I haven't, I've only had, like, four crushes in my whole entire lifespan so far. Uh, but, uh, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Hmm. So far? Why? I've I've had that. I've had that feeling. I've definitely had that feeling of like the heart pumping, like up, like coming out of your chest or whatnot. Like you get butterflies or something. I'm not obligated to answer that question, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know, because, like, I feel like every time I try to, like, I try to have, like, this crush on someone, right? I feel like every time I do it, it's, like, it, it's not, it's not, like, worth it, because I never, like, I get, like, I'll, I'll have, it like, one of my friends or something. Uh, I'm going to go off my ninth grade year experience, right? So I asked this one person out to the military ball, right? But, like, they didn't like me like that because their taste of men is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if you know, if you know who, you know who. So you do very much do. 
Uh, yeah, you do. You do. Uh, no, I don't think you do, Ken. Maybe I shouldn't, though. So, anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, like, I've had this experience, like, I've, I've known them for a very long time, right? Since, like, middle school. But then, like, but I guess we grew apart for a while, and I guess I had this, like, kind of anime romance type feeling, I guess. I was like, oh my god, I like you, or whatnot. I thought that was gonna happen, but they ended up being like, yo, I just like you as a friend, yo. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll just go kill myself. So, Yeah, you have to respect yourself enough to like move on to relationship, and it it has to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't. I can't even finish that. Like because I have never been in like a serious relationship like that. So. <laughs> Well, if I, if I have a relationship to my body, it's not good. Really
that it, I think I share the same view with you. Like, you have to focus on relationships in general. Yeah. Like, your relationship to your phone or your relationship to, like, your life or, like, just in general. You have to, you have to put yourself in a healthy mindset before you get into a relationship. And you can't let, like, I guess your your mind can not not your mind. Uh, what is it called? Like those butterflies control you. You know. <laughs> I can also confirm that. She's a pro at it. Okie dokie. I guess uh, this kind of correlates with friendship because friendship is just the same thing as relate like a like a loving relationship, right? So, like with friendship, it is built like it's built so much differently, but it's like the same exact thing, like. I feel like you could be friends with someone for like seven years, right? But then not actually like, like then like if you were to like ask them out that time, they'd be like, "Nah, I don't like you like that." So like it, it it's different. It's very much different. But at the same time, it's the same. It's built the same way. I swear to God, yeah. The, I mean, I, I think I, I think we all three kind of have that like same thing because we both, like, we all three have that same like kind of mindset as like a therapist. So like, all the mentally ill people will be like, "No, I like you. You can be my free therapist." Like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're the same clients, but with different payments. Honestly.
Yeah. Uh, so Eve actually has some uh, like experience with this because she's the only like one to actually, you know, get someone for a long time. So let. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> the the alpha wolf is crazy. So Eve actually has experience with a long term relationships. So how has that affected your mental health or has it not affected it at all? I'm curious. So, So wait, wait. So like in random conversations, you just be like, "Chaos, I achieve chaos." Like in just random.
No, you're not sure. What topic was that? Oh, it's a friendship? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why is that actually Loki good? Why is that good advice? <laughs> Why? Why was that such good advice? Even though I know you were trying to joke, like it's crazy. You're so intellect. Okay, I'm glad that you're. Here. So, uh, this kind of leads into our next topic, right? Uh, what? Oh, BLM, right? Yeah. I mean, I, it doesn't lead at all to their next topic, but I mean, like, as people, as people, yeah. as people of color, how long have you, well, uh, excluding Eve, but like, how how long have you known about like police brutality? I just want to know because I, I find it so interesting because I I've never heard of that until the whole George Floyd incident. So like, I I want to know what like how long you've known about it. Well, what about you, uh, Liv? And it's still happening uh, day to day life. Like, I I went on uh like TikTok recently, and it, this isn't like uh related to BLM, but it is related to police. And there was this like police officer that showed up to this woman's house, right? No uh warrant, no nothing, right? Showed up to this woman's house, and her dogs went out, and like they were happy, they're wagging their tail, they they're happy, and then the police officer took out his gun. And they were walking up slow, too. They weren't even near this man. 
uh, the police officer took out his gun and shot the dogs. And they died. And then he got no repercussions to this day. He actually became chief. Yeah. Yeah, fine or nothing. And this happened way before the George Floyd incident, but it's just now getting traction. Just now. And he's still cheap. Because you can pay your way out of that. You can, you can just pay your way out of that, honestly. Like, if you have enough money, you can just, like, pay the judge off. Happy as a dandelion on Sunday morning. Now, if that ain't some Chicago like <laughs> slang, but I don't know what. It is. <laughs> Happy as a dandelion on Sunday morning, like that is beautiful. But I definitely understand what you're saying. Definitely, I've never experienced that type of like prejudice like, ever in my life. And I hope I never do, but, like, I just wish more people knew about this stuff before. You know? Because you said you learned about it in, like, when you were, like, 12, right? And as a person of color, you should have known about that way sooner, or that shouldn't even have been a thing in the first place. What'd you say? Oh. Okay. You shouldn't... Y'all should never have to experience that, and it's crazy. But this is more about police brutality, not BLM. So, we... Sh like... Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to correct the course uh, instead of going to police brutality because we covered that last episode I believe we have a little delay with that though so yeah but anyways uh, police brutality 
Oh, uh, not police brutality. Uh, BLM. Black Lives Matter. matter. So, uh, me personally, when I was, I don't know, like, a lot of white people were like, no, a lot of people in general actually didn't understand what that meant. They went all lives matter and then there's uh, black lives matter. Most uh, children thought, oh yeah, all lives matter because black lives matter, uh, white people lives matter, everyone's lives matter. But that's not what all lives matter is. Not at all. So, hello, who's this? Oh, okay. So, with with uh with Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter, right? So All Lives Matter, most people get confused with it, or like children, they don't know how to research this type of thing. So they're like, of course, Black Lives Matter, right? So and so do so do like other people's lives matter. So they're like, All Lives Matter, but they don't have any research to like back that up. So then, like. They, they see Black Lives Matter, and they're like, yeah, of course they do, but everyone's lives matter. So they end up going for All Lives Matter, and then they fall down this alt-right pipeline on YouTube, or, uh, like, it it's like, YouTube is such a bad place. I'm not even going to talk about that right now. So, yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people didn't realize that at the time. There y'all are in danger. Like y'all need to be focused. There's only those many parts of Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah. No. Are you serious? Oh, Lord. Yeah, uh, no
Uh, Jake Paul actually did that. Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they were out there burning cars and like police cars and like breaking into them and stuff. So, just absolutely. Spelling that right? I feel like I'm spelling that wrong. One second. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Went to the suicide forest in Japan, and he just kept on filming dead bodies, and he ended up being like, like in a lot of legal trouble about that, and a lot of uh, like, a lot of people unfollowed him and stuff. So that's nice. He did that a couple years ago. That was, <laughs> yeah. So this is completely off. But what is better, taco or burrito? Burrito? I guess I'm not talking to y'all. Guess I'm not talking to y'all. Tacos are are so much. Mm. And then we no, 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 no. Burritos like fall apart in your hand. Like, I feel like um, the taco is so much better. Like, So, so who uh, who's voting for Taco? Because I'm I was drawing a picture this whole time. So who's voting for Taco? Taco. Yeah. That was a taco. That was a taco. <laughs> hmm. 
No, but tacos are just so much better. Like, they're just so much better. Mm hmm. Yeah, but can you can you make fifty tacos and then eat them all in one session? I didn't think so. Why do we actually believe him? Yeah, I know that. So, talk to a breeder. For someone from Chicago, I, I believe that they should be able to get this, but I guess, I guess you're not a true Chicagoan. So, like... Okay, but uh, I need to make something clear, though. Who's voting for taco and who's voting for burrito? I, I already put you. Okay. Uh, Eve. True. So you're going to talk to him? No, you have to choose one, please. I didn't draw one of those. Okay, so leave it in the middle, I guess. She's on the fence. Okay, so, uh. I think uh, Liv was going for Taco, right? Because, like, she was defending it. Yeah. Well, right, Taco wins the uh, boxing match. So awesome. Where are you going? Dang, he died. Okay, I, I guess. Uh, I, I think. What's that other kind of? What?
You just put it on a shell or like a soft shell and just like eat it. That's that just doesn't sit right with me. Kind of makes me want to, you know, die inside. You know. So, uh, we have like. Honestly, we can go for another like twenty minutes because we're at, we're almost at an hour. So uh, we could get like one more topic in, I guess. Uh, we did friendship. We did friendship? Uh, that that's a short one. Has have it? Has anyone had an experience with AI chat or AI art? Yeah, I I was thinking that too. I was thinking that. Honestly, you should just send me. Grill depends on what build. Sin is going. Sin is going for a cheese burrito. Sin is going for burrito. So. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. Eve, you have to pick taco or burrito. You have to. I'm sorry. Eve, you have to pick taco. You have to. Yeah, I'm seeing taco all the way. Let the voices take over. Let the voices take over. Yeah. You have to pick one. Taco burrito. Wait, well, we still haven't finished our discussion. I need someone pick taco. We're on a tie right now. Taco burrito is on a tie. Come on. Uh, Eve, you have to be seeing Taco. You have to. Exactly. Oh, which one's healthier, Taco or Burrito? I think the Taco is more healthier because you have lettuce on it. So, boom. No, you need more tacos because it's yummy. Hey, hey. Pack all of that in a taco and more. You put onions on your taco. You put you have, like you have so much more. Put guacamole. Like
I mean, personally, I'm not going to do no jiu-jitsu. No. Oh. no. Yeah, but you can't experience the flavors all together. And well, you experience them all together, but you have to experience them one by one, and then like, and then they all. Come. You have to work the test. Who else tired in the burrito? 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 You're gonna get cancelled for this. You're gonna get cancelled. No. Taco Doritos? Not gonna lie. Again. Not gonna lie. I think, I think. Wait, guys, listen, listen. Read taco or burrito? Yes, yes. Oh. No. Oh no. I've only heard stories. I've only heard stories.
I'm sorry for the divorce. Sorry for the divorce. What? Who was the worst route on the taco? Like, or, you know, like. I got. I'm ending this podcast. I'm ending it. I gotta go cry. Like, I'm ending it. What's your problem with this? Like, this is actually the best thing, like. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. It's traumatizing. I'm gonna I'm just gonna kick Kenneth out. Like we can't have him here. Yeah. No more Kenneth. Uh, we'll keep staying. Um, no more me. Yeah, I'm not joking either. We're kicking tennis out and we're staying in tennis. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Also, join our Discord. Join our Discord. It's, uh, it was just flipped over now. So, epic coolness sauce. No hope for humanity. Uh, we'll leave a link in the YouTube video. So. Thanks for watching.